Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a uh, Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and as well Leo Rising, a weekly tarot reading November 4th to uh, November 10th, 2019. And bear with me just a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we are to jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of your week, Leo, that is to be the Nine of Pentacles, followed by the second card which represents the uh, challenges that you need to overcome throughout the week, that is going to be the Page of Cups. The third card here which represents the positive aspect of the week for you, that is to be the, uh, nine, the Eight of Swords, excuse me. And the last card here, which stands for the guidance that uh, Taro is offering to you guys, that is to be the Empress card. All right, so um, Nine of Pentacles. Well, this card is going to be catalyzed by the uh, Knight of Pentacles. So we do have in a passive supporters in this particular position. And what they point it is that uh, the week itself is going to be dappled with... Uh, Numerous activities that you are going to find quite of a, uh, a, a joy and as well content in general to, to move on forward with them. Now, those activities doesn't have to be something um, I cannot really classify it substantial, but let's say something enormous and big. They could be a, just an activities that you are uh, finding yourself rather quite productive. And that is from just one side of the spectrum here. On top of it, it looks like that uh, this week itself, it is a, a week where you're going to set upon yourself a, a further goal, like, um, you know, new uh, leap into career endeavors or a new relationship that you are to establish. The whole point here with the Nine of Pentacles and the uh, Knights of pentacles it is that this time around in this week you need to focus on a um, well, it simply said what you want because these two cards are definitely pointing that um, the individual or in this case you it, you very well know what you want and now it's time to start making progress towards it but uh, this progress should not be frantic. This pro this progress itself should not be rushed, but instead of it should be slow and steady. And whatever actions or decisions you are to make in regards to this progress needs to be supported with a uh, very strong convictions and very strong determinations as well. Now, important thing to be acknowledged as well is that the week itself is going to give you some time to catch up your breath. And it will be quite wise and advisable here to spend that time of uh, moment of respite, moment of a, uh, um, you know, rest in general um, among nature. So the other card here, which uh, represents the um, challenges that you need to overcome, that is going to be a, a page of cups with the knight of cups. 
So we do have a passive supporters once again, and it's quite baffling here because they are um, showing up a person who is um, prone not to focus on the details of one's work, but rather on the overview of one's work. So as we said right now, you need to keep a, a slow pace, slow and rather meticulous pace. It does look like that this person here that she, it comes as a challenge. It is a, a someone that prefers to look, uh, let's say, two steps ahead or maybe five steps ahead here. And instead of uh, focusing on the current problems, current predicaments or, you know, the current issues that needs to be resolved, <clears throat> that person focuses more on issues, plights and predicaments that may or may not appear in the future. So I would say that as a challenge, uh, you will have to cooperate with someone that is not going to be particularly useful at that stage of your progress or of that stage of, you know, your pro your project or that stage of your relationship. Uh, just if I have to give you an example, you know, that could be the person that you are dating, all right? And while you're focusing on the datings themselves, trying to make them more pleasant and more productive in general, this person focus focuses on you know, things that can be done once you get engaged, for example, or once you move in together and so on and so forth, things that haven't happened yet, okay? And uh, as they do focus on that, on these uh, future activities that may or may not happen, that kind of like a, um, puts them a little bit off as, as the current situation stands. And for that reason, they may not be very cooperative, very subordinate and very, um, how do you say to someone that it's not thorough in the understanding of how things stand. So uh, the positive aspect for you guys is going to be the Eight of Swords. And that is accompanied by the Hierophant card. We do have an active enemies, very strong position, and it does point to the full understanding of the situation as the situation is. And even though uh, you may find a certain unpleasant aspect of the situation, the full understanding here stances that you are to find determination to tackle with those unpleasant, um, unpleasant circumstances, let's say. So in other words, you're going to take the things as the things are. <clears throat> and instead of commiserating on what could have been, you know, you are to focus on what is and do what you can with it. And you can do, by the way, a lot with uh, what it is right now. Now, another thing in regards to the positive aspect as well, it is that it is highly unlikely that you are to put yourself into a dead end situation. So in other words, to contribute for your own stagnation, either regarding career or either regarding relationship. So this week, whatever goal you have placed in front of yourself, despite of what field that goal takes place at, you are pretty much going to figure the thing out. And uh, the, the figuration, or rather like what you come up with, is going to be quite surprising to everybody that stands around. And uh, that gives you additional leverage toward those who are trying to pull you back. Because we do always have people that doesn't want to see us succeeding, you know. But this time around, it doesn't look like that such kind of a people will be able to influence in any way your slow but steady drive, stir toward a manifesting a goal or a dream of yours. And uh, the final card that we do have here, which represents the guidance that Taro is offering, that is going to be the Empress. And it is accompanied by the Page of Wands. <clears throat> so the formation, it is a uh, passive uh, neutrals here and it does refer to a long-term plans. It does refer to situating oneself with uh, the current means and things that one can work with, also keeping up an open mind for a, an additional circumstances that can happen either regarding your career or either regarding your relationship, yet you are not going to completely rely on a future circumstances, but instead you are to, or this is the guidance, the guidance asks you to figure out a way how you can consolidate your current uh, situation 
only with the means that you are possessing right now. Now, additionally to that as well, guidance wise, these cards are speaking about decision making in a sense of that should you face a, uh, a huge decision that you gotta, uh, that you gotta do, you know, for example, should I make it or break it? Or should I stay on this job? Or should I leave on this job? Remember what I said, a, a moment of respite at the start of the reading. So you gotta take your time, okay, and spend, spend that time among nature, secluded, if you will, so you can make the most balanced and mature decision in such a way that this decision is not going to undermine your future progress, nor is going to hurt any person that stands uh, around you in any way. But um, lastly, I would say in regards to the guidance is that whatever drive you are striving toward from now on in regards to a future progress and future goals of yours, you need to kind of um, allow your creative expression to take place and definitely you are to create something beautiful at the end of the road. So that being said, Leo, this was your weekly tarot reading, November 4th to November 10th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.